Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are, alhamdulillah, we are in uh, the first day of Ramadan and facing the second night of Ramadan. And we will be uh, reciting the second juz, insha'Allah ta'ala, tonight. And so for this reason, we are looking at some commentary on the Holy Quran of the second juz, insha'Allah ta'ala. Uh, we will look at the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and I think that these ayats are very befitting for the time that we find ourselves in now, the start time of uh, turbulation, very challenging time. We are restricted. We are losing things financially. And some of us are losing people uh, 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 physically. They're passing on. Our um, economy is going down. Uh, two, three weeks ago we had and today uh, our sustenance and our monies is depleting and I think that this uh, uh, so, uh, uh, ayat will be able um, to make some sense and give us uh, some um, solace and some hope insha'Allah ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَنَّبَلُوا وَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَالنَّكَسٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْوَالِ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that وَلَنَّبَلُوا وَنَّكُمْ That um, this word, نَبَلُوا وَنَّكُمْ That lam, it is for lam ta'akid And in the back of this uh, 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 verb, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings a noon taqid. So it is a double emphasis. That most definitely, surely know that you will be tested. Tests will come upon you. Hardships will come upon you. What type of hardships, says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? There will be times where you experience some fear for whatever uh, the external uh, source might be that you will experience some fear. Allah says, If you believe in Allah, the ayat before this says, Inna Allah ma asabirin, That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with those people that execute, uh, that show and exhibit patience in a time of calamity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says before that also Allah says, Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu sta'inu bi sabr wa salah that we must seek assistance with sabr and salah inna Allah ma'as sabirin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with those people uh, that show patience in a time of adversity so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says you will definitely be tested bil khawfi wa ju'i bil khawfi wal ju'i wa nakasim min amwal wa nakasim min al amwal you will experience that you will experience uh, uh, some fear there might be war there might be a, a, a civil war there might be an onslaught there might be a personal individual onslaught on you or you might be uh, in a time that you have a onslaught on a global or on a local level, but you will experience some fear somewhere in your life. There will be times when we will experience hunger. We will experience hunger. It might be that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreases, takes away that which we are used to. Like in the time that we are now, food is very scarce. We can see people are looting. People is 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 going to extreme measures to secure food and food security at this time is an issue so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says min al khawfi wal ju'i from you will experience times where you will find some hunger or food will be scarce or you will experience that you cannot attain food very Easily, when nakasi min al amwal, you will always, you will also experience that your wealth is being decreased. Money won't be as available as as it was. Look at the the times that we are in. We find that everybody's surplus is now being depleted. Money is not scarcely and freely. It is not. You can't just go and. And, and do what you want to. Many people is being retrenched and fired and lost of jobs. So this is nakasi minal amwal. Wal anfus. We find that sometimes we find 
is that um, loved ones, we will be trialed, we will be tried, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take away our loved ones and our dear ones. Wala nablu wa you will be tested, says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa thamarat, and our sustenance will be, will, Allah will test us with our sustenance. It will decrease, whether it is a little or it is a lot. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wa bashiri sabirin. Clear tidings. Wa bashiri sabirin. Clear tidings to those who execute, exhibit patience in a time of adversity and calamity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Give them clear tidings. Why clear tidings? Alladina idha asabat hum musiba. Those when the musiba, when the calamity afflicts them, then what do they do? Their first words is, "Qalu inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun." That they says that indeed this that we are experiencing is nothing, because to Allah, to from Allah do we come. And ilallahi is our return, and to Allah is our return. Kalu inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun, and unto Allah is our return. Why do Allah subhanahu wa taala says wa bashir sabirin? Give glad tidings to those people that have pa patience in the time of adversity and when the test of Allah comes. Ulaika alayhim salawatun mi rabbihim. To them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showers salutations not from anybody, from direct from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mi rabbihim from their Lord. Wa rahma and not salutations. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends mercy on a person that shows patience in a time of adversity. وَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُهْتَدُونَ And those are the people, Allah says, they are the ones that is rightly guided. So the message that we want to take home is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us and encourages us in the uh, first quarter of the second juice, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that we must show patience, seek assistance, seek help, ask Allah with patience and salah. These things go together. There will come times. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us with emphasis in the Quran that you will be tested. You will be tested with your livelihood, with your money, with your loved ones, with your dear ones, with your sustenance. But Allah says, give glad tidings to those people that will show patience. Because they will one, get salawat. And they will get rahma from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Salutations and mercy will come from Allah. And they will be counted as the ones that is rightly guided. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us that we can exhibit patience in the time of adversity and turbulence inshallah ta'ala. Wa akhira da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.